today is Wednesday, May 17th, and I am going to do another What I Ate in a Day. Um, it's not going to be too exciting today. I always look like such an orphan when I come to you guys. Um, it's not going to be too exciting today. Um, this morning was my Bulletproof Coffee, which I do have, um, just the black Keurig coffee and I, the breakfast blend, and I put in one teaspoon of coconut oil, a tablespoon of butter, and a tablespoon of the sugar-free sweet Italian coffee mate, and I know that's not keto, but it's Sandy's Bulletproof Coffee, and I'm losing weight on it, and it keeps me fairly sane, so I'm going to keep doing it. Um, my lunch today, I'm busy trying to do some stuff up, so I'm not really hungry, um, but I don't know what to do, so I decided um, that I was going to have another coffee, but this one is going to be over ice, and I'm adding a Premier Protein Shake to it. Um, I believe it's caramel, caramel something, or yeah, caramel, I don't know, caramel something, so it's like a... Um, a caramel iced coffee and it's really good um tonight i'm pretty sure what i'm gonna have for supper but um i'll wait and i will show you guys then um and i just want to show you um because i'm not really filming the food i'm just telling you what i've had today or am in the process of having my um my protein coffee over ice but I want to show you how I calculate everything and how I keep track of everything so just one second and I'm going to turn you guys around and I'll show you what I do in a day okay so I have this um happy planner it's the exercise and um food diary from uh, my big what's it called hmm my big ideas I think I don't know it's a happy planner um, I've taken out the pages because they didn't really work for me, and this is the setup I have. So on this side, I put um, breakfast, lunch, supper, and bedtime, what my sugar read numbers are, and how many units of insulin I take. And this is just something, um, I'm quite surprised actually, but anyway, my sugar was 6.2 this morning, and I had two units of insulin, and that was with my Bulletproof coffee. Now that's basically what it is every morning. Um, and I always have the two units of insulin and it always goes down by lunch, but check this out. It's 7.3 right now. The reason is I am in so much pain. Um, I'm going through things trying to get ready for a garage sale down the road or some stuff that I want to sell right now. And I'm in a lot of pain and that's the only thing that would put it up because I haven't had than my bulletproof coffee and I do this every morning and it's never it never jumps that high at lunch so it just goes to show you what things do affect your um, sugar numbers like pain um, stress uh, just all kinds of things can really um, play havoc with it so I did take six units of insulin because as I say I am having my iced coffee right now I kind of not sad, but I'm kind of bummed out that that's happening with my sugar right now. But anyway, that's the way it is. And then on this side, um, I've had these papers made out for me. It tells um, breakfast, lunch, supper, and snack. And then it's got calories, carbs, fat, and protein. So I can keep track all day. So this morning was my Bulletproof coffee. Again, Sandy's version. Calories were 68. There was two carbs in it, and that's because of the sugar-free um, coffee mate. And there was nine grams of fat and no protein. So now my protein coffee that I'm having right now has 160 calories, three grams of carbs, three grams of fat, and 30 grams of protein. So it's a very good... Um, it is a really good protein amount in that. Tonight I think I'm having bacon and eggs, but I'm not 100% sure, so that could change. For my snack, I think I'm doing an Atkins bar. Again, that could change. So I haven't filled out this part yet, just in case I do change these two things. But yeah, so I keep track um, each and every day of what I eat and how I'm doing with it, just so 
when I do have a really good week, I can go back and say, oh, this is what I ate that day. Let's try that again. And this is what my sugars were that day. So say tomorrow morning at 6.2, I'll know to take two units. Um, and hopefully I won't see a number like 7.3 at lunch. Mind you, 3.5 to 6.5 is normal. And my numbers used to be in the high teens, low 20s. And it was pretty awful. So um, 7.3 is still good for me. Um, but it's funny, now I'm used to seeing all my numbers within the 3.5 to 6.5. So I'm looking at 7.3 thinking it's high, which for me right now it is. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that too so that you know like how I do keep track of it. Um, I find it very helpful for me. And I've just kind of tried to decorate a little bit just to make it like a fun little, a fun little planner. But anyway, that is that. And I will see you guys either at snack time or supper time. Hope you all have a great afternoon. Hi guys, just back to let you know what I'm having for snack. It's this Atkins chocolatey peanut butter bar. Um, there's only, I believe, three net carbs. Here is the nutrition information. You, whoops, sorry. You guys can probably see it a lot better than me. But anyway, this is what I'm having. I'm going to probably just take bites on and off all afternoon. And that is snack. So I'll see you guys at supper. Hi friends. So I am just getting ready for supper. Um, tonight I'm having bacon and eggs. Um, they are just about ready. And I will turn you around and show you what I'm having. Okay, and this is what I'm having for supper. Doesn't that look delicious? <laughs> Um, it's four pieces of bacon, and I did have one as I was cooking it, so five, and I'm allowed that. Um, two eggs, two fried eggs. Um, one is fried, then there's some herb and garlic, um, Swiss cheese in the middle, and then another fried egg on top. There's a teaspoon of sour cream, a teaspoon of salsa, and a teaspoon of the green, the green hot sauce, which... I used to not like hot things. Pepper, I couldn't eat it. So I thought all things. But you can eat it. Apparently I don't like pepper. That's why. Because I really like that green hot sauce. So anyway, this is what's for supper. If I have anything more, I will let you know. And if not, I will show you guys the video later. Love you guys. Hi guys. So I'm just coming on to close up for the day. My eating is done for the day. I might have a... Um, sugar-free jello later but I'm thinking probably not um, I did count for it though so it's in my total calories um, so my total calories for the day were 885 I had 3 grams net carbs for the day 58 grams of fat and 76 grams of protein my protein was a bit high, but because of what I had for lunch, um, my iced coffee with the protein drink in it, normally I don't like um, the protein to be quite as high, but I'm okay with today. Um, it's a good day. I'm not hungry at all. Um, I've been busy trying to get things to sell um, for a garage sale or on one of the for sale sites or whatever. Um, and we played with Korak outside tonight and this afternoon, and apparently he doesn't like water. Um, I was thinking about picking him up a kiddie pool, but we're going to have to see if he will, maybe we'll take him to a beach or something to see if he actually will go in the water. But as far as um, the sprinkler, no, he didn't want any part of it. And it was hot, like you'd think it would feel good, but he's like, no way. But anyway, that's it, guys. Um, so that is what I ate today. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, it would be great if you did and follow me on this journey that I'm on. It's a ketogenic lifestyle, which is high fat, moderate protein, and low carb. Um, and I do weekly weigh-ins. Um, I get weighed on Monday, and that's when I will do an update. Um, and in the meantime, it's just what I eat in a day videos. So thanks so much for watching, um, and if you could give it a thumbs up, that'd be wonderful, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.